The stuffed animals were perfectly lined up against the wall. Just in front of them sat a neat row of various dolls. One prized Cabbage Patch Kid, a blonde doll sporting a new haircut, and a few Barbies. Sitting in a small wooden chair facing the toys sat a little girl no older than seven. Please pay attention, class. Today we're going to learn how to count. This scene had been acting, acted out many times in Krista's bedroom and would be acted out many more times throughout her childhood. Sometimes it would entail giving detentions to the toys, serving them snack, or taking them outside for recess. Other days there would be real neighborhood children acting out the roles of student. But one thing was always constant. Krista was always the teacher. I grew up with a passion for teaching. It was in my blood, and I knew it was what I would one day do, and I did. I obtained my Bachelor of Arts in English from the University of Northern British Columbia and a year later graduated from Queen's University with my Bachelor of Education in Elementary Education. I started teaching immediately after graduation and I loved it. I taught everything from high school math to middle school English right down to three years of kindergarten. I was the daughter of two teachers and I married a teacher. Teaching was my contribution to the world. Teaching was my life. I'd love to be dramatic and say that all of that changed in an instant, but it didn't. It was gradual. Over the last four years, my little family of three has struggled with all sorts of mountains, from life-changing miscarriages to eating disorders, depression, and currently generalized anxiety disorder and clethrophobia, which is the fear of being trapped that our seven-year-old struggles with. It has been our... It has been our travels through these struggles that has piqued my interest in mental health. I know firsthand the importance of breaking the stigma of mental health issues and the ne necessity of receiving empathetic, educated support while dealing with mental health issues. This is how my decision to go back to school to study mental health came about. If I won your scholarship, the money would go directly to my college to help pay for tuition and books. My husband is a public school teacher currently on strike, and I'm unable to work while I go to school because of the extra care my daughter requires while working through her own health issues. I'm going to make a difference. I'm going to help people realize that they're worth taking care of and that their mental health matters. With your support, I could complete my year of school with minimal financial stress. My family and I would be forever grateful. Thank you so much for your consideration.